Hey Kevin here with another Flippin' Dork Flips and Finds video where I show you different items to pick up really cheap thrifting and garage selling and then I sell them on either on eBay, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, different places like that depending on what kind of item it is. Now in the last video, I, at the end, I mentioned I had two items that sold but I hadn't got paid yet. Well, I got paid last night. So that was the Nike watch uh, and the, um, what was the other? Oh, the uh, box of uh, Zootopia plush characters. So I got paid for both of those. You can check out that video to see more details on them. But anyway, I got paid. So then uh, today, I had another item that sold. It's this right here. This is a pair of desert style, like military style boots, but these are Converse. I've never ever seen Converse before. I've sold like Danner, Bates boots, Belleville boots. There's some different brands like that. But these are Converse, and um, I got them at a garage sale for five dollars. They're in pretty good shape. The um, like the, the rubber on the sides of the soles it has some wrinkles and some uh, there's little spots. It's not so great. So they're not in perfect condition. They're not even in like amazing condition at all. There's some stains on them, things like that. But they still had really good value. So I listed them for fifty nine ninety five plus shipping, and they sold. So it went for $59.95 plus $9.71 shipping, which I believe is $69.66 for these, and I paid $5. So that was a great flip. So I need to get them prepped. Also, I think I might have showed in the last video, there was a guy interested in checking out this blue JCPenney bike I bought at a garage sale a while back, 10 bucks. Ended up being a bad deal. It took forever to get anyone interested in buying it. Well, he wants to, he couldn't yesterday. He had something come up at work. He couldn't come check it out. So now, He's probably there, I need to head over there. But anyway, he's gonna meet me at the gas station, to check it out, so hopefully I can sell it for 25 bucks. I'll only make $15 on it, but I didn't do anything to the bike. It has flat tires, it's gonna need work on like the gearing and all that kind of stuff. And I don't know, it was a bad buy. I, I'll definitely avoid uh, bikes like that again. But anyway, hopefully he'll buy it. I'll make 15 bucks off of that, and I can go ship this stuff off as well. So anyway, that's how the week is starting. All right, so now it is Thursday and uh, had a couple different sales on eBay and locally. I think in the last clip I mentioned the JC Penny bike that a guy was gonna check it out one day and then couldn't see so come the next day. Well, he looked at it and he really liked it, so he bought it. Like I said, I paid 10, he bought it for 25, so I made $15 on it. And I've said it many times before, but it seems like when I make a bad buy and I kind of learn what works and what doesn't, I make about 15 bucks. Well, that was another one. So anyway, I probably won't buy any more bikes quite like that, they need to be a better bike, better condition, you know, whatever. Just that was a bad combination of everything. Okay, also, the uh, small 20-inch kids Diamondback bike that I just picked up at a garage sale last weekend for $10. I sold it as well, and I uh, didn't get video of that either, so I'll show a picture. Um, but anyway, it sold for $40, so I made $30 on that. So these kids' bikes, if I find good ones, they're going quick, all right? So... Around here, the, the adult size bikes, eh, they, they sell, it takes a while. The kids' bikes go in pretty quick. I mean, it's not a lot of money. I'm making like 25, 30 bucks a piece. That's not bad if I find good ones. Now, I'm not buying, I mean, kids' bikes are really trashed out a lot of times. And I'm making sure they're 20 inch. I haven't sold any 16 inch ones yet. Uh, it seems like people are buying, you know, the 20 inch because that's kind of, you know, the, their kid is getting big enough. They need a bike, but not quite ready for like a mountain bike or whatever. So they go into that size. So anyway, that sold. Okay, now I had a couple of eBay sales. I'll show you also, today is Thursday, and I did some garage selling, and I found a bunch of really cool stuff. I don't have time to show it to you just yet. I need to get these ready to get shipped out because I have about 40 minutes before the post office closes. Okay, so first item that sold is this right here, the Singing Jaws. Uh, think of a big mouth billy bass, except the Jaws version. And uh, it uh, moves its head, moves its mouth, it sings the Jaws movie theme, and Mac the Knife. So this one's kind of annoying, it's really loud, but it does look pretty cool. It's a real shame, I got this uh, thrifting in Kansas City, and it, the box was perfect, all right? And then I had so much stuff in the van, I took a really hard turn, and I had this dresser that lifted up off the ground. This was laying right by the, the bottom of the dresser. And then the dresser leg landed right on here and it crushed the box. Oh, so, uh, bum me out. I still got decent money out of it though. So I think at the thrift store it was, it might have been like $6.99 or something like that. With tax it was $7.72. And then it sold 
for $34.95 plus $8.69 shipping, which is a total of $43.64. So it's basically a $45 item if you want to do free shipping on something like this uh, with the box, of course. That made it a little more valuable, even though the box got messed up. And man, it was perfect. I mean, it was really nice shape until I ruined it. So, okay. The other item that sold is this right here. Let's see if I can get it out. This is that Lothario duffel bag. Um, I believe it has never been used, but it is missing the strap, like the shoulder strap, but it has the handle. I mean, it looks like it was never used. The bottom of the little brass feet here, a little scuff from, you know, sitting on stuff, but it was in great shape. I found it at my local Goodwill. It was only $6, and I was looking at it, and I was like, that thing feels weird, but I think it's real leather. And I have never, ever found an actual good bag at our Goodwill. As a matter of fact, this entire summer, I haven't found anything good there at all. It's been terrible. But one day I went in there, and I found this. It was only 6 bucks. Uh, I was asking $69.95 of free shipping, and I wasn't getting anyone interested, so I put a best offer on there. And I believe I only put my best offer down to... 65 I think if I remember right because I got an offer for 65 Now I had a couple of other offers and people were con like even you know their offer would automatically de get declined because they were you know trying to get it for like thirty dollars fifty dollars fifty five so they would message me and say hey would you take you know 55 would you take 60 or whatever and I was like no I, I'm sorry I just can't do it so I just held out until I got basically what I wanted so I, I would have took anywhere between 65 and 69 95 so it sold for 65 plus free shipping. Goes in this box. Depends how far away it goes. It could cost a little bit to ship out. But uh, anyway, I need to get it sent out. Oh, also, another thing. I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, but probably a few videos back, I showed a um, uh, Vitamix that I sold that I got at a moving sale. I paid, they were asking 150 I asked if he could do better. He said 125. I offered 100, and he took it. I listed it for 295 dollars plus free shipping. It took a little bit to sell, but then it did. Well, as soon as the person received it, they contacted me like, "Hey, I changed my mind. I don't want it." So I was like, "Okay, you know, well, that sucks. I just paid shipping, and they don't want it." So I said, "Well, you know, just return the same box, and um, you know, I'll make sure it's protected and that it won't get damaged on the way back." And when it arrives and it shows up, I'll inspect it and then refund your money. Well, it showed up this morning uh, as I was leaving to go garage selling, so I brought it in. I haven't looked at it yet. I What they did is somehow they were able to return the sender, so apparently they never opened the box. Somehow they refused it. I don't know how they did it because they knew it showed up, but they refused it, never opened the box, and sent it back, and they never had to pay shipping. So that kind of sucks. I did free shipping, so it cost me money for them to decide they didn't want it. And then they didn't even have to pay anything to send it back. So anyway, I got it back. Hopefully it's the same one. I'm, I'm going to double check, see if it matches all the serial numbers I sent. I'm hoping, I mean, it looks like it's the same bubble wrap and all that I put on there. So I, I think that was a legit return. They just, I don't know, just kind of sucks I had to pay for it. So anyway, uh, I will double check it and then I will um, refund them if it, everything's correct. And then I will uh, relist it. I think I want to relist today. Because today uh, eBay is doing a twenty or a fifteen percent off sale, so I'm gonna try to do like you know expensive stuff and uh, post it up there. So hopefully I have time for that. I mean I got so much stuff to do, and it's only Thursday. I got Friday and Saturday garage sales still to do. So anyway, let me get these packed up, and then uh, I'll let you or I'll show you what I bought at some point. It might I don't even know if I'll do it today or what, but I'll show you all the stuff I bought. I found some pretty cool stuff. All right, so here's all the stuff I picked up today, Thursday. It's actually really good garage selling. And uh, I guess it's just kind of the end of the year when people are putting out their really good stuff. So I'll just start here with the Super Soaker. It's the very first thing I found today. I've been wanting to buy a vintage Super Soaker for a while. Now, this isn't like a really, really good vintage one, but it's not bad, especially since it's only 50 cents. I mean, this one sells for like 20 bucks. So it's not great, but the really old school ones, like the first couple, can go for a lot of money. You know, 50, 60, 70, even $100 for some of them if they're in the packaging. So for 50 cents, that's not a bad turnaround at all. Okay, uh, I mean, I'm kind of all over the place. I'll just kind of work my way back. Okay, I, I picked these up at a garage sale. I uh, got the whole box of these books 
for ten dollars. They're more scholastic books, and it is Geronimo Stilton. And there's a whole bunch. There is I have to count again, but I think fifty something books. I looked these up as uh, lots on eBay, and I can actually get pretty good money out of them. I'll have to double check, but I'm thinking. I mean, I don't remember now. It was more than 30. I think it might have been closer to like 50 bucks or it might have been. I don't know. Maybe it was way more than that. I don't know. But we'll say a bare minimum $40. But it might have been it might have even been like double that. I don't quite remember. But I thought it was a pretty good buy for 10 bucks. OK, found these at another garage sale and I'm looking at them and then I see G.I. Joe and I'm thinking, OK, yeah, that looks like toys from when I was a kid. I don't quite remember them. I mean, I played with some G.I. Joes, but I was not really into all of the really popular toys. I was more interested in riding my bike, playing with hatchets, trying to build stuff. So I don't remember what all these are called. And uh, anyway, the two smaller ones for 50 cents each. The bigger one was 75 cents. That one's G.I. Joe. I think these, I know this one for sure is the uh, Cobra Command or whatever they're called. But it looks like these things are stripped down. So maybe someone bought these and uh, use them for parts or something. I'm not totally sure. But I'll do just like the other G.I. Joe vehicles I bought and just sell them as one big lot. Maybe someone out there wants them. And uh, hey, I only have, what, a dollar seventy-five in them. So, I mean, if I get 25 bucks or whatever, you know, that's fine with me. Uh, let's see, go back here. Nope, I'll tell you what, we'll go here. All right, so I found another calculator, a TI-83 this time. Not quite as good as the 84s, but they're selling pretty well right now. They're asking 10 bucks. I asked if they'd do five. They said, sure. They even put new batteries in there for me, so that's pretty cool. And I looked them up, and they're selling really well now. Probably about $35 to $45, somewhere around there. More than likely, I'll probably get about $40 out of it, so that's a pretty good flip. Okay, I also saw this. I couldn't pass on that because it's just so cool. Look at that. Slim Jim cup. They're asking $2, but I got it for a dollar along with these uh, comic books. I made a deal for $4 for everything. And I mostly just bought this because I think it's so cool. Something I like to have for a little while. But it actually does have value. They actually sell for about $16.95 to maybe $18 or $19.95. Somewhere around there with free shipping. So, I mean, it's not like a huge money maker, but uh, I don't know. I mean, I think it's pretty cool. All right. So then we have these comic books. Like I said, it was a deal with the cup. I don't know anything about comic books, but they were all bundled together for three bucks. I figured there's probably got to be some kind of value here. I don't even know. I don't know anything about them at all, but I would imagine there's, I mean, there's going to be something in here that has a little bit of value, or maybe I just sell the whole thing to someone. I don't know. I have to look into it, but uh, if you know anything about these, let me know. But I haven't even looked at them this far. I just saw a bundle of comic books. Some of them are kind of wrapped in plastic. I figure, hey, if they're wrapped in plastic, that's like at least a dollar each, you know. So I should get my $3 back, no problem. And kind of experiment with uh, comic books that, who knows, probably are terrible. I have no idea at all. That one's actually kind of cool. Some kind of Vietnam comic. But anyway, okay, so I got those for 3 bucks. All right, so then we move on to this box right here and this bag. Now, I went to a um, sale and they had a whole bunch of Bionicles sitting in their driveway. I mean, they had probably, I don't know, 30 or 40 containers like this. But I noticed that this is the only one that said they were complete. Complete set of six, $30. So six of these here, you open them up, they are complete, they're built, they have the instructions, everything's in there. And they were only asking 30 bucks for that. Now, they had this box there as well. And it just has a bunch of random ones that the lady later told me that her son just kind of, uh, you know, like Legos, just put them all together. Just made random stuff out of them. And, uh, whoa, look at that one. That's pretty serious. Pretty big one. But apparently he just kind of, uh, I don't know, just started building whatever he wanted out of them. And, uh. I don't know, but anyway, so I grabbed these and I wanted to buy them. I said, now you're asking 30, could you do a better deal on that? And she immediately said, no, I could do that, but if you want the extra box of Bionicles 
and I'll even throw in the containers if they're empty. So all the ones she gave me are empty, and apparently all of them in here eventually break down into these. She said, I'll give them to you for another $10. So I'll sell everything for $40. So I decided to do it because I looked these up. I actually went through every one of them and uh, scanned the barcode. And some of them are selling for $25, $30 free shipping. Some are about $20 each. So I think a bare minimum, this is like $120 worth of Bionicles but probably more than that. I got to decide, do I want to just sell them all as one big bundle? I could put them at 120, they would probably sell, it'd be a deal for whoever's buying it, and uh, maybe add shipping to that, or I could sell them separately and uh, spend my time doing that, I'm not sure. Sure seems a lot easier just to throw all those in a box and sell them, you know, turn my $30 into like 120 or whatever. And then my $10 here, I think I'll do the same thing. I will just, kind of like the uh, other, I have another box of Bionicles I bought uh, a couple weekends ago and they're still upstairs I paid five bucks they are like to I mean they're not even built like this they are just broken down into parts and uh, I don't know anything about them but they're bound to have some value so I looked them up and lots of Bionicles can go for quite a bit of money plus like I said these even have the containers which people are probably even looking for those so this ten bucks could turn into a lot of money so this total four dollars uh, forty dollars could be quite a bit of money when it's all said and done I'm not sure Okay, the last thing is the find of the day. This is awesome. If you ever watch Bonafide Hustler, you know he's really into uh, bags to bucks. And this definitely fits the bill. Look out, I mean, you probably can't tell in video how big this bag is, I mean, compared to my foot there. This thing is at least three feet long. That is at least 18 or 20 inches tall. It is a huge bag. And it is Orvis, so it is Orvis Battenkill. And look at that, it still has a tag on there. Bat and kill luggage. Now if you also notice, it has a lot of dog hair on it, so that's kind of gross. But uh, anyway, it was laying on the ground. 15 bucks, I'm thinking, whoa, okay, that's a great deal. I said, I was thinking, man, this thing sure looks nice. And I can clean it up, especially get rid of all the dog hair, and then just all of the dust on it. I mean, the wheels, look at that. They are not chewed up or anything. So you can tell, the lady said it had never been used before. And uh, I mean, you can tell it is just, it's not scraped up or anything. So I'll clean it and make it look the best I can. She was asking 15 and I'm thinking, okay, that thing is serious money, but I'm gonna try to get it cheaper anyway. I said, would you do 10? And we kind of went back and forth a little bit and went down to $12. So I got it for 12 bucks. I didn't even, at her house, I didn't even have um, access to internet. I couldn't get to it. 4G wasn't coming through, so I just did a blind buy, but I knew that this was going to be worth quite a bit more than 12 bucks. I eventually found it, and wow, this thing is going to be an amazing flip. It is probably going to go somewhere between two and three hundred dollars. And uh, I don't know, I'm kind of thinking closer to that 300, maybe, maybe more. I don't know. The uh, used ones right now, pre owned, were selling between like two, tw two. I don't know, 200 and 325, but every single one of them that had sold, they took a best offer. So more than likely, they're probably selling pre-owned for about 200 plus shipping. So they're going for like 240, 250, something like that, 220, 230, somewhere around there. So this one being new, but it's kind of scuffed up. I will clean it up the best I can, but it really doesn't look like it's ever been used. I think I probably could get closer to that $300. So that is going to be an amazing flip for 12 bucks. So this was, a, I mean, a really nice day of garage selling, especially on a Thursday. Very, very unexpected. I even went like two hours late. I was thinking, well, I know there's some sales. I'll go ahead and just check them out. And man, I found some awesome stuff. So anyway, I got to get busy uh, cleaning this stuff up and getting pictures and all that. And if I have any other sales today, I will let you know. I actually forgot I bought these two uh, shirts until I saw them just a minute ago. I uh, got these today as well. They were a dollar each at a garage sale. And like I said, I'm, not, I'm really not messing with a lot of clothing. I did buy several jackets recently, which I do have listed now. And uh, I don't know, those will do all right because jackets I can at least get usually $20 and above, but clothing has been bombing. Of course, a lot of stuff that should start selling well now. And it sold really well last fall and winter. So that's why I grabbed these. It's two brands that have done really well for me, and it's like unlikely brand. So the first one here is a wool shirt, it's a wool blend, but it's mostly wool. Pretty cool retro plaid shirt. 
and it is a old JC Penney shirt. So um, I think this is probably from the 80s. Some of them I had have been from like the 70s, but this one's probably 80s. It was only a dollar. Uh, last fall and winter, I was selling them for like 25 bucks. It's going pretty well. And then this one, same thing. This is an old Big Mac made by JC or made for JC Penney. These go for really good money. Only issue I noticed with this one is it does have a little bit of a snag there, so I'll have to trim that off. But uh, that's not too big a deal. This one's just flannel. It was also a dollar. Great color combo. Bright blue and red. Just a little bit appealing right here. But the rest of it's really clean. I've sold these that have had holes in them and they were like 35 bucks. So this, I, I'm gonna shoot high and see if I can get it and see if I can get, you know, 35, maybe 40 bucks. I don't know if I'll get that. It might end up being like this one, it'd be like 20, 25 bucks, but I'm gonna shoot for like 30 something and see if I can get it. So anyway, totally forgot about those, but those are two kind of shirts you would not think would probably do that well, but they were selling really well for me last year. So I decided to buy them again and uh, see what happens. All right, so today is Friday. I did some more garage sailing. I stayed in city limits today. Yesterday, I went just outside of city limits and actually surprisingly found pretty decent stuff. Usually when I go to that place, to that little town to go uh, garage selling, it's usually like baby clothes and picture frames and decorations from 10 years ago and things like that. Just nothing I'm really looking for. But I actually found pretty decent stuff yesterday. I was surprised. So today I stuck to it. Uh, in the city limits drove around i found quite a few sales because the weather was pretty nice but the sales weren't that great and eh, i mean i found some stuff one of the items i got could be pretty good could sell for pretty decent money made my day worth it then the few other things i bought uh, they'll be all right so not not amazing but all right so anyway i'm trying to get as much as i can because things are going to really slow down soon and i just want to get as much decent stuff as i can so that i have plenty of work to hold out for you know a couple of months i'm sure i won't you know, in, in two months it'll be all listed and I'll just be kind of, you know, every once in a while finding stuff at thrifting or whatever. So anyway, I did have two sales today on eBay. They were both, they were all right. First one here, I actually had listed for almost a year, probably 10 months, 11 months, somewhere around there. It's this right here, a brand new Pressman Let's Make a Deal game. It's sealed, except it did have a sticker here that was taken off. I think that was like that when I bought it, if I remember right. But uh, anyway, I got this for $3. I don't remember if it was Goodwill or a garage sale. Probably Goodwill, though, if it was $3. Garage sale, I would have paid, you know, a dollar or something like that. But uh, anyway, um, I remember when I looked it up when I bought it, one was selling for, I don't know, $35, $37, something like that. So I thought, hey, that's a nice flip. I'll go ahead and do it. So I bought it, priced it the same. Christmas come around, it never sold. I thought, uh-oh, you know, that's not good. So then I just held on to it, and then nothing happened. And then I eventually dropped the price down to $29.95 with free shipping. And it was like that for almost all of this year. And then this week I was thinking, you know what? Uh, I should probably just get rid of that thing. Just take the listing off, redonate it back, take a $3 loss and just be done with it. And then today I'm driving around and I hear my phone go off and uh, it ended up being this. So it sold. So it sold for $29.95 plus free shipping. And uh, of course it's going to go priority because it's over a pound. And that's never cheap, so it ended up costing probably like nine something to ship. And uh, I got three in it plus fees, so half my money will disappear. I'll probably make around fifteen dollars profit, so it's all right. Second item that sold is one of the Reebok windbreakers I bought last weekend. This is the really cool one that I knew would go for the most money or sell quickly. Well, it sold quickly, but it's going to go for the least amount of money. And that's because it was a lot worse condition than I thought. I knew it had some burn holes in it, like little ones up in the shoulder and maybe some other stuff. But when I really looked it over, when I got home, I realized that the, it had a lot more burn holes in it. So I had two up top in the purple nylon section. Then down on the black section and kind of the middle of the back, there's another burn hole there that you could probably fit your pinky through. And then one of the sleeves, I don't remember which, it had two cuts on it. I was like, ah, oh, it totally devalues it. This thing could have been really, really good money. So I got, it was, what, three three vintage, like, 80s or 90s Reebok windbreaker jackets at a garage sale. They were 50 cents each. Uh, last year, I was selling these Reebok jackets for, like, 35 bucks, 30, 35, somewhere around there. They were selling really well. This year, it seems like the price is down a little bit. They were mostly going to, like, 20, 25, maybe 30, somewhere around there. 
Now this one, because of the design, I mean, if you get these old jackets, don't just buy plain Jane ones. They will sell, but you might get 10 bucks out of them. You really want one that says it's era. So if it's from the 80s, you want it to look like it's from the 80s. You want the crazy color or the crazy pattern or something that says it's vintage. If it's from the 90s, the same thing. You want the like neon. In the 80s, it probably was more neon. 90s, you kind of get the more pastels and purples and teals and things like that. But you want it to say it's age. This one is purple, black, and it has the red, white, and black Reebok stripe. Just Reebok, 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 Reebok. That's what you want. You want the colors and you want the logo. So it could have, oh, and this one on the back has a huge um, Reebok, uh, the logo on there. So it has everything. You know, it's got the cool color. The design is simple, just purple, black, and a stripe. But it's in your face, and that's what people want on these old jackets. So anyway, because of the burn holes and all that, I decided to go lower, a lot lower than I thought it would go. I mean, if this was perfect condition, I would have asked probably like 50 bucks. But I asked $24.95, figuring, you know, eh, I want it to be worth my while, and I know it's a really cool jacket, but I want it cheap enough someone will buy it. Well, it immediately got two watchers, so I knew people were interested in it, and then one guy contacted me. He wanted to buy two of my jackets for $35. And I was thinking that through. I was like, ah, I don't know. It's only $17.50 each, and if I sell them separately, I could get more than that. So I waited, and that message was from last night, so I was thinking about it today. Then today at one of the garage sales, my phone went off, I checked it out, and a guy messaged me, and he's like, hey, would you take $20 of free shipping? So I thought about it for maybe 30 seconds. I was like, yes, I will definitely do that. So I sold it for $20 plus free shipping. So that's not bad for one that has holes in it. But this design, I mean, this huge you know, Reebok stripe all the way around it, that is what people want. They want like in-your-face logos. Same thing with like old, you know, if it's like a, a polo jacket or Tommy Hilfiger or Nautica, like anything you can think of from the 90s or the 80s, you want like in your face, the brands, the logos and the design. So anyway, I need to go ahead and get labels printed for these. When I get back, I will show you the items I picked up today. All right, so here are the items I picked up today. Now that they're sitting on the floor together, it looks kind of wimpy, but the green stuff over here, it's worth a lot of money. That was a great find. But I'll start with just the okay stuff. So this right here, it's an old trucker mesh snapback hat, Applebee's 1989. It was only 50 cents. I mean, I don't even know if it'll actually sell, but I just thought it was goofy enough to buy. And for 50 cents, I'll try it. We'll see if we can get 10, 15 bucks, maybe, if it actually sells. Okay, this right here is a Kirby plush, still brand new with tags. It was only 25 cents. I looked it up on eBay and Amazon, and it sells for about $11 for free shipping. So I know that this is really light. So the cheapest shipping you can do first class is usually about 266 plus the 25 plus some uh, fees and all that. I'll probably be all in at like $3.25. You know, off of 11, I'm not going to make a lot of money. But I recently sold the Kirby uh, Nintendo game that was complete in a box. It went fairly quickly for like 45 bucks or somewhere around there. So I figured, you know, someone out there probably still likes Kirby quite a bit. And, uh, you know... They would want to buy it. Okay, this right here caught my attention. It's a True Religion shirt. It still had the tag. Now, when I scanned that tag, it was not this shirt. So they put the wrong tag on there. But they were showing that the brand is worth a lot of money. I mean, $158 for a shirt. But what really caught my attention is that it is a triple X. And uh, I looked up, because that tag didn't match, I just did a generic eBay sold search for True Religion plaid pearl snap shirts. And it looks like they go for... 25 to 45 on average it's like 30 something dollars so they were asking five bucks which is a little high but you know if i could turn it into 35 40 dollars something like that it would be worth it so we'll see if we can get it hopefully we can and uh, it'd be a pretty decent flip okay the local item i picked up today is one of these little barbells little curl bar whatever you call it it's 40 pounds a little bit dirty i'll have to clean it up they were only asking five bucks. I figure I could locally, I could probably get 30 or $35, something like that. So that should be a great flip. Okay, the real money is right here. This is a great find. So I went to this garage or was a yard sale and uh, they said, okay, stuff, nothing I really wanted to buy. And I was walking away and when I see this sitting on the ground and I'm thinking, what in the world is this? It looks like a piece of luggage. You know, it's got the collapsible handle, wheels on the back, what in the world? And everything at this garage sale was just kind of junky stuff and everything was low priced. And then I see the sign 
AccuCut practically new $75. So I'm thinking, wow, okay, everything else here is like dirt cheap and this thing is 75 bucks. So it must have some real value. So I open it up and, and that didn't help at all. I'm like, what in the world is this thing? And I noticed it's called AccuQuilt Go. So it's something to do with quilting. And right when I do that, the lady walks up, she's like, are you into quilting? And I said, no, but uh, you know, this thing looks interesting. She's like, well, let me tell you about it. She said, what that is, is it cuts quilt blocks for, or uh, fabric blocks for quilting. And it'll do like five or six layers at a time, so you don't have to do it by hand, and it saves time. And she's like, just the machine itself, brand new, I paid like two or three hundred dollars for that. And she said, all these dies, I paid like thirty or forty dollars a piece. And she said, I think two of them are new, I never even opened them up. So I'm thinking, wow, okay, this thing is worth like a lot of money. So for 75 bucks, that's a great deal. So I said, okay, well, let me think about it. Let me see what else you have in the sale. So she walks away. So then I walk around and look at other stuff. And then I get on my phone and I look this up. And man, it is worth some serious money. So um, I looked up. Okay, now I got to find it here. Let me do a search real quick. Okay, thing is called an AccuQuilt Go. Let me go to the solds. Okay, there we go. Brand new. The machine is 225 plus... 37 shipping so what is that like 250 or 260 if it's brand new and then just all of the blocks I mean look at it they are like that one's $55 that one's 46 Wow look at that a small one went for 328 so I mean they got some serious money in this all right and uh, anyway I noticed that two of them are brand new unopened I looked them up this one right here is about 35 to 40 dollars it cuts two triangles and then this one right here is brand new and opened it cuts strips like this all right this is uh, currently selling for 80 to 90 dollars brand new and uh, right that was ones that had sold but the ones currently listed are at like a hundred dollars so just these two pieces right here is probably a hundred and ten to like a hundred and twenty dollars and we still got the machine. So, uh, oh, by the way, she said, uh, and you know what, I would do better than that $75. So then that's when I said, okay, well, let me think about it and walk away. So I wanted to see exactly like how much this is worth. So now I'm adding up these prices, you know, even used, these things are still going for like 25, 30 bucks. And there's a couple in here. There's one there, it cuts squares. This one cuts a big square. I mean, those are, you know, like I said, 25, $35 a piece. So I'm adding all this up, I'm like, man, this is like $350 or something like that, $375. So I uh, went back up to her and I said, well, you know what, I'm interested in that. You said you might do a better deal. What, would, uh, what were you thinking? She's like, oh, I would do $60 on it. So I gave her $60 for this and it has got to be over $300 worth of stuff. So that was an absolute total home run. And I think what I'm going to do, the two, actually, I think this thing's brand new too. I, I didn't look it up, but the brand new ones, I will, I think I'll sell on their own and get as much as I can out of them. And then the others, I will just bundle with this. She also said that it's hard to find them with a case. So that was like an added accessory. So that will add value as well. And uh, I mean, man, just the, um, you know, everything in here and this open one there, I bet I could get 300 just out of that. And then we got, you know, 250, something like that, maybe 300 free shipping, something like that. And then these brand new ones here has got to be, because whatever the value of that is, has got to be pretty decent. So that's like 150 bucks. So this is at least 350 or more. That is going to be an awesome, awesome flip when it's all said and done. So that was totally worth going to a kind of just eh, a blah looking yard sale because they had one absolute home run there. So that was what I found today. Kind of wimpy looking, but really, really good on that end. All right, so now it's Saturday. I did some more garage selling, and uh, this is the eBay pile, and this is the local finds pile. So I'll show you what I got. So this is actually from yesterday, the curl bar or barbell or whatever that thing is. It's 40 pounds. I got it for five bucks yesterday, but the dumbbells I bought today. So the first set I found was a pair of 15s for five bucks, which is a great deal because that's 30 pounds. And if you account for 50 to 75 cents per pound, I mean, these are like at least $20 worth, and I got them for five bucks. And I got a pair of fives, a pair of tens, and a single 15. So what I'm going to do, oh, and I paid $9 for these, so three, three, and three. So I will pair this 15 with another uh, single 15 I got a couple weekends ago. Uh, and then I also have a single 20, so I need to find another 20. 
and then someone out there is going to want to you know buy that full set of 15s and 20s so hold on to that for a bit and then i'll match or i'll put together the fives tens 15s with the barbell all together that is 100 pounds so at 50 to 75 cents per pound i'm looking at trying to sell them for somewhere around 70 maybe even 80 dollars for all these right here and i only have uh 16 dollars in them so that's not too bad okay so as far as uh, ebay stuff goes the first thing here is a leather jacket. It looked really nice when I saw it at this garage sale. I noticed it still had a tag on it, and I noticed that they were only asking $15. So I was thinking, wow, that's a good deal. That's interesting. So I started looking at it. I always look at tags and things like that, because sometimes there's like Wilson leather, and I pass on those because they just don't have a whole lot of value. But I noticed this was something totally unexpected. Look at that Marlboro Adventure Team. So I'm thinking, okay, a super nice leather jacket that's never been worn in its marble. It's got to have some value. There's someone out there that's probably a collector. So I looked it up, and I was totally right. These actually have pretty decent value. Pre-owned, they were selling anywhere between like 30 and 50 plus shipping. But mine's new, never worn. It doesn't smell. There's no stains, no stags, nothing. And it still has that tag on there. So I think I might even try to get close to $100, maybe like 80 to 100 bucks. And they were asking 15, but I was able to buy it for 10 bucks. So that should be a great flip. Get it out of the way. Okay, so here's the stuff. It should be a lot easier to uh, send off on eBay whenever it sells. First thing here, is this is a soft case. And the camera, there's a battery, a charger, some instructions, things like that. But it's a Sony Cybershot DSC-H90. She was asking 30 bucks. This is the lady that had the dumbbells right there. I got this and the dumbbells for 30. She did a deal for me. So I only paid $21 for this. And I looked it up and there was one that sold, I think three days ago for $65 plus free shipping. And I don't think it had the box. So I might be able to go a little higher than that, maybe 65 or 70. Although most of them were not quite selling for that. But I think this one's nice enough that I can at least try and see if I can get it. Okay, next thing here, I'd never seen one before, but I looked it up and it had value. It's a Sky Caddy. Basically, to me, it looks like a handheld GPS for when you're playing golf. And, uh, I mean, look at it. Anyone that plays golf likes all kinds of gadgets and try to play better and all that kind of stuff. So, this looks pretty interesting. They were asking 25 bucks. I got it for 20 and I looked it up, and there's several that had sold for about $55 plus 15 shipping. So that's about a $70 item with free shipping. And I saw another one that went for about $85. So I'm thinking, you know, I could probably sell it around $75 or $70 to $80, somewhere around there. It has a soft case as well. But we'll see. But that should be a pretty good flip. Okay, next item here is this bag. I'd never heard the brand before, but I looked it up because I thought the logo was interesting. Crumpler. And what was interesting is their bags all have kind of oddball names. This particular bag, I think, is a laptop bag. And the name is Roll O Notes, which is a little unusual. But I thought it's a cool color combo. Black, olive, army, drab, green. and the, Or uh, olive, drab, army, green. And an orange interior. And I looked this up. It took me a little bit to figure out that that thing inside was the name. But uh, there was one that sold recently that was blue and black. And it sold for $49.95 plus shipping. I think in total they paid almost $60 or $65 for it. So it's actually a pretty good bag. I got it for two bucks. That's it. Great deal. Okay, and then at another sale, this was a cool find. So Guitar Hero, totally complete. I've never found one complete in this good a condition. But what really caught my eye, so that's for Xbox One. So this is like brand new stuff. Most of the Guitar Hero and Rock Band guitars that I mess with, you know, those things are like 10 years old. They could be broke, they're never this complete. And uh, this is pretty cool. And the interesting part, it was a really, really good deal. Look at that, it's only 10 bucks. I tried getting it a little cheaper and the guy wouldn't budge, so I had to pay the full 10 bucks. But it's got the two guitars. They redesigned the buttons so that they're up top instead of like six or five or six, whatever it was this way. It's six next to each other like that. Um, it actually, he has batteries in there, so it does turn on. They both do that. So it's in working condition, all that feels good. And then also it has the game, the back of the disc is perfectly fine, there's no scratches or anything. It has all the paperwork, it has the box, and the most important part, it has the two dongles to make it work 
wirelessly. So anyway, I got it for 10 bucks. I looked it up. There was one that sold recently for $119 with free shipping. Uh, brand new, they're going for about $150 plus shipping, somewhere around there. So I will definitely shoot on the high end and see if I can get over 100 bucks for it. So that's pretty awesome. So anyway, that was the finds of today. So now let me show you some of the items that sold. All right, so the weekend's over. I ended up getting a little bit sick, but I had a lot of eBay sales. So I'll show them to you. I don't have time to write them down because I'm kind of in a rush. But the first one that sold, oh, here it is right here, Xbox 360 game, Call of Juarez. Uh, I got this as part of a big box of, it was an Xbox 360, a bunch of controllers, games, all the games that weren't worth that much. I bundled together with the Xbox and all the controllers. I sold it off. I got my money back. And then all the games that were going to make me about $10, or would sell for about $10 and above, I pulled out separately. And this one, it basically sold for 10, but I'm not making 10. So I have zero dollars in it, and uh, it sold for 6.95 plus 3.50. So that's a total of 10.45. All right, next item that sold is this right here. These are hubcaps for an S10 Blazer. I got them at a garage sale for 10 dollars. I didn't realize that they were for uh, a Blazer. I thought they were for a full-size Chevy truck which is the same bolt pattern as my van. I thought I could put them on just to kind of change it up. Then I get home and realize, oh, that's not, you know, it's not the right one. So I'll just go ahead and sell them on eBay. And I paid 10, they sold for $39.95 of free shipping. So I'll make some money off of them. So this still is a decent buy. Okay, next item that sold is, you know what, I got it wrapped up. I have to show a picture. This is an old Sony Walkman CD player, a D-NF610. I uh, got it for a dollar. It's kind of scratched up, so I actually put the price a little lower than where they're going. They were selling for about 30 in good condition, but since this one's kind of scuffed and scraped up, I sold it for $22.95 with free shipping. Uh, next item is yeah, this right here. I have it wrapped up in uh, cardboard. You're not going to be able to see it, but this is a climber motorcycle repair manual for a Yamaha something. I'll show a picture. I uh, got it at a garage sale. I think it was a dollar. It was either 50 cents or a dollar. I don't remember which. Uh, when I looked it up, the comps were selling for about 30 bucks, but I had it listed there for several months and nothing happened. So I dropped the price down to 21.95 of free shipping, and it finally sold. So it'll be a decent flip, and it'll go media mail, so it'll be not too expensive to uh, ship out. Okay, next one here. I just got a couple weekends ago. I garage sale for a dollar. This is an old PlayStation 2 game. The front is kind of faded to like a yellow, but the black is still, or the back is still like bright white and all the colors are good. Uh, PlayStation 2 Draken Guard 2. I got it for a dollar and it sold for $29.95 plus free shipping. And uh, same thing, I lowered the price because it wasn't in perfect condition, but it could have went for more money if it was in really nice condition. Okay, this is a cool sale. Uh, you know what? I'll just show a picture. Um, this is both pairs of the Fox racing shoes I got at a garage sale a couple weekends ago. Um, this guy had this ginormous shoe collection. He had a bunch of, I think he said he had 200 or 250 pairs of shoes in his closet. And he was selling off some of them just to, you know, I guess to make room for more. I don't know. But he had several of them that were new and then a bunch that were used in the garage sale. I looked through and I found the ones that, uh, new ones that looked like they were worth it. I have a black pair and an orange pair. Uh, he was asking um, 20, I think $25 each for all the new shoes. And then it was like 15 or $20 for the ones that were used. Uh, since I bought four pairs of new shoes, it was supposed to be hundred dollars. We worked out a deal where I got them for 90. So basically I paid 22.50 each shoe. So for both pairs of these, they sold for, for or they, I have $45 in them. And I had someone contact me from, I think they were from Ireland, so it was an international sale through uh, eBay's global shipping program. And they offered me a hundred, or they tried to buy them both separately, but then they told me to cancel because there was no combined shipping discount. So I thought quick and I thought, and uh, you know, they asked me to cancel. So as soon as I canceled, I sent them a message and said, hey, if I put these together in a listing and I reduce the price a little bit, would you be interested? They said, sure, if you could do that, that'd be great. That would save on shipping. So I did that. So they were going to pay about one combined because one pair of shoes it was I had a little higher than the others. I think one was like sixty eight ninety five or sixty nine ninety five, and the other was like seventy four ninety five. So 
however it worked out, they were going to pay like 143 something. So I reduced the price to 140 and I combined shipping and that chopped the shipping in half. So they were going to pay like seven or eight dollars for each pair of shoes. I combined them and it was like eight dollars for both. That's to ship it to Kentucky to the uh, international shipping warehouse thing. From there, I don't know what they're going to pay in shipping, but it's going to be a lot. So in total, oh, so that shipping for both pairs of shoes was eight sixty nine. So in total, they paid a hundred and forty eight sixty nine for these shoes. I have forty five in them, so that was a great flip. Okay, next item sold is this right here. I might have to show a picture because I don't want to take it out and unfold it. This is another one of those Reebok windbreakers from like the 90s, I think. This one's a half zip. It just comes down here and it has like a kangaroo pouch pocket-y thing up front. Black, maroon, green, in really good condition. I got it at a garage sale, I think for a dollar. Let me double check. Yeah, I got it for a dollar and it sold for $34.95 for free shipping. That's about where I've sold a bunch of them. So in good condition with fairly interesting color and design. Not too crazy, but not boring. Uh, you can get about 35 bucks on them, so it's not too bad. Okay, this last item is one that I've had for a long time. I am just happy to get rid of it. I thought it was going to be such an amazing deal when I found it at um, Salvation Army for $3. It is a brand new sealed Scholastic Photo Tiles Word Families, like a so association card learning game type thing. And uh, anyway, when I looked up sold comps, there was none. But people that were trying to sell them currently were asking like $140, $150. I thought it was going to go for crazy money. So I thought, wow, you know, $3 and I might be able to ask that. Well, of course that didn't happen. It's, you know, when there's like no stock available, people just, you know, they jam their prices way up there. And uh, sometimes I think it's for placeholders. They don't actually have anything for sale. They just don't, they just know no one is going to pay that. But uh, anyway, with this, I... Uh, I lowered the price and lowered the price and lowered the price. I finally got rid of it. I mean, still, uh, it's not going to be that good of a flip, but I, I'm going to make some money. It went. I took a best offer all the way down to $28.88 with free shipping. It's heavy. I'll probably ba you know barely make any money at all. I bet. It, I think it's going to Florida, if I remember right. So that's going to be expensive. So after fees and all that, I am not going to make hardly anything at all. It's probably less than 10 bucks. So it was not a good buy in the long run. So anyway, that was the uh, flips and finds of the week. I'm sure this video ended up being long again. I'm trying, I'm still trying to figure out how I can shorten them up. I don't want to do like every day, but sometimes, you know, I'll go a Tuesday and there's not really any sales. And I don't find anything, but then, you know, Monday I might, I might've bought one thing and then Wednesday I sell two things and it's just kind of a weird, I don't know. I don't know if I want to put a video together where I only show I bought one thing and I sold two things or if I just want to keep doing these week-long videos where they end up being 30, 45 minutes long, something like that. So anyway, if you like the video so far, how they are, if you have any ideas how uh, maybe you'd like to see them broken up or whatever, let me know. Leave a comment. Go ahead and leave a thumbs up. And then if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that to keep up with more of these videos. So anyway, thanks for checking it out.